If you have ever made a mid-max damage build in Arcane Lineage before, you probably just put in all your stat points in Arcane or Strength, thinking that it will just yield the most damage possible. But what if I told you that you were wrong the entire time? That Arcane Lineage is nothing more but a function that has a maximum. You wouldn't believe me, right? Well yeah, that's what my friends did too. So I decided to prove them wrong. <laughs> Okay, so this function is very complex, and I'll throw an image up on screen that explains it. Also, if you want to play with this by yourself, there will be a Desmos link in the description. Now that you know that the function works, all we need to do is find its maximum. And as it turns out, the maximum efficiency is 102 points in Arcane and the rest into Luck. Following this for Strength, we get a maximum of 112 in Strength and the rest in Luck. Also, make sure that this is out of your 195 total, so ignore the 5 extra that you get from leveling, and also the ones that your race starts with. If we follow this maximum, we will get an average multiplier of 5.58. This is compared to 0 skill points. Whereas, if we were to go full arcane, our average multiplier would be 4.88. This is kind of a big difference. I would also like to mention that this difference would be amplified the more damage buffs or base damage that you have. For example, if we were to follow this function with a lightning crash that has a base damage of 14, you would do 78 damage on average instead of 68. That is a 10 damage difference. In reality, you would probably be doing more damage by the way. This is most likely from gear, class mastery, and also undocumented buffs that you may happen to have. All of which are very different from player to player, meaning that they cannot be accounted for because they are too specific. But still, my friends at this point would just not budge. They insisted it would do less damage. So, I had to gather some real evidence. So, here's how I set up a test to gather evidence. I just so happen to have two niche races on different slots, so if I level them both to level 40 and give them both brawler armor, test the average damage, the niche that follows the maximum of the graph should do more damage. This is exactly what I did. Here is test 1, the conventional build with 195 points in strength. Here are its results. Now here is test 2, the theoretical best. And here are its results. As you see, on average, test 2 did more damage, just as expected. Of course, the gap is only 0.1 damage. That's not a big difference. However, as I said earlier, this extra damage scales with higher base damage and buffs. This little experiment just shows you that it works. So, this function actually works and you can squeeze more damage out of your DPS builds just by splitting your arcane or strength with luck. And as a nice little bonus, you do get lots more drops. And there are two more things I want to mention. First, arcane is actually stronger than strength. This is due to the extra 4 flat arcane stats that the elementalist armor gives. So, after 230 points, strength becomes better. What this means is that if you make a class like Impaler that can go Arcane or Strength, Arcane is the better choice. The other thing I wanted to mention is that you may not want to follow this as a Necromancer, because your summons will lose HP if you have less Arcane. But if you don't care about that, then go for it. It still works very well. 